What is going on, my good people? This is your main man, Ben, here. Happy Monday, folks. And today is going to be a quick hit. You know, recently we just acquired our new one wheel. Um, I got to be honest, guys, I'm hooked to it. And also my wife. It's a fantastic device, man. And uh, in the name of safety, we invested on this two wheels in front that they call Fangs. Um, it was sold by Landsurf, but that's what they call Fangs. Um, it arrived today, and uh, we got two, since we got two planes. And we're going to install it real quick. We'll see how it goes, and test it out, and give us our quick reviews. Um, let's get into it. So what we actually have here guys is the actual box of the fangs, comes with the manual, um, it's fairly nice, uh, yep, checking out the build quality and it looks like it's as close as you can get an OEM, I must say it's the color, I'm colorblind so I really can't tell you the difference, hardware comes with it, stickers, a couple of them, I like to line it up, um, comes with this Torx. I do not like to use that, but we're going to start putting out the bearings, front and back, side to side, whatnot, and uh, let's test it out, spinning it properly, that way we don't make any errors. We're going to do the other side as well, and uh, this is how we're going to basically, it's, it's pretty much a straight up approach guys. We're going to use a Torx 20, that would be the standard one, um, making sure that it's properly fit. I like to use my own tools. I got my own leverage in it. And we are ready to install it. The, the washer should be in the opposite side of the metal. And you put in the titanium uh, axle. Once you tighten this up, guys, um, you do not want to over tighten it up. Just fairly amount that it can spin freely. You don't want to over tighten it because it will prevent from spinning. And the fact that it has hardware in the inside, that titanium screw or axle is not gonna come off. We're gonna do the other side as well. And we are golden. We are golden. Testing it out, spinning it properly, see if it's properly spinning, and we are good. Also, that grip right there is amazing. I must say, I'm gonna show you later on. We do not have that on the OEM, and this changes a lot, guys. I'm telling you. I'm gonna do my wife's pint as well. And as we see, Mr. and Mrs. Smith is good. Now, this is the look of the fangs. Um, we are ready to hit the road, and we're out and about. It looks like a manta ray on this angle, but we are good to go. Overall feel about this one is amazing. Um, I do not hear any rattling or any vibration sound. Um, I properly installed it. The fact that I cannot feel any anything that it's out of normal, like the regular bumper. And as you can see guys, it's not sticking out. I like the one that sticked out as well, to be honest with you. But the look of this one is sleek profile. It's an ergo look. Um, it's like organic you, if you're not looking at it directly you won't even notice that there's wheels in there i like that fangs design to be honest with you i also have noticed in my wife on her pint that it's like a white color it pops out but it gives that a little bit of a, a look like a, a, a shark feel in it and it's amazing um looking at it it's not that it's gonna bother you from carving as you can see little bit of carving there um as far as that security is the main purpose why we're getting this and as you can see that it's not that slow as the ground you you are good to go don't worry about that one and also that grip is amazing that grip it changes a lot when you pick up and i'm glad we have it So, 
the fangs added a little speed. Nah, I'm bullshitting you, man. Nah, it really didn't add any speed though. But in the security level, the confidence that brings to your ride is far more better because you know that you have that two wheels in front of you that can help you out regarding, you know, nose dives. And it's an added security feature. So as far as that as well, I installed it just right. I didn't tighten up the bolts and I don't feel any difference. I don't hear any noise. Um, there's no rattling or clanking noise. And uh, as you can see, it was spinning freely, like properly. And everything is smooth. And uh, yep. So far as that, it's pretty amazing, man. I mean, the only thing that I can think of, I got one more upgrade probably before I wear out my OEM gears in this one wheel and uh, most likely Kush. Um, I talked to one of the guys in, in Craft and Ride and they haven't had a back plate for the pint. So I'm waiting for that one that is compatible with the fangs. So we'll see about it. But for now, this is going to be the actual test ride. It's basically is, I'm not gonna nose dive it, man. I mean, that's the horrible way of practicing it in actually doing an actual nose dive. I don't wanna do that because, you know, that's really not safe to do. And uh, there's no take two for that one. Also, also, the added feature aside from this one right here, the main fangs is that the handle, you can see, I'm gonna lift this out real quick, that we get an extra handle here instinctively when you're a skater. You're gonna grab this up and pull it out. Very, very helpful. Versus the stock bottom board that has no handle. Although we got side mags, this one right here, you wanna get used to. But, is what it is. I got it now. And that is how you install the fangs, guys. Um, overall goal is to at least give you a enough leeway time or reaction, just in case you nose dive, you get a chance to recover a better reaction. Um, I believe that would be a better choice than, you know, scrape up your broken collar worst and uh for 89 bucks i believe 85 it's a good deal and additional peace of mind and you can pay for that but once again guys quick hit appreciate you watching almost 400 subscribers appreciate you man it's a big milestone and uh be safe and riding guys this your main boy peace out